This final note on the way out today. Early in the pandemic, a lot of local distilleries started making hand sanitizer. Well, on Tuesday, the Food and Drug Administration put a notice in the Federal Register announcing those distilleries will need to pay about $14,000 in fees since now they're basically selling medical products. And they'll owe another 14000 unless they stop making it and selling it by today. Marketplace is supported by Noom, a personalized program based in psychology to help people understand their motivations, change their habits, and lead healthier lives. Learn more at Noom, N-O-O-M dot com. And by Elijah Craig Bourbon, distilled, aged, and bottled for warm spice and subtle smoke flavors. Elijah Craig Straight Bourbon Whiskey, Bardstown, Kentucky, 47% alcohol by volume. Please drink responsibly. And by Edison Research, dedicated to quality consumer research and public opinion polling for corporations and organizations worldwide. Learn more at edisonresearch.com slash marketplace. And now for your Thursday moment of economic context. Since I'm here in D.C., a few political numbers. 2020 broke all kinds of spending records in terms of politics. The Center for Responsive Politics says nine of the ten most expensive Senate races ever happened this year, as did four of the ten most expensive House races. And the Trump campaign is still spending and raising money to fight Donald Trump's loss in the presidential election. Amir Babawi, Siobhan Brett, John Buckley, Eve Epstein, John Gordon, Kat Green, Rick Carr, and Betsy Streisand are the Marketplace editing staff. I'm Kimberly Adams. Happy New Year's Eve, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. This is APM.